My name's Ryan and I'm a communication electronics engineer in the Royal Air Force. I studied aviation engineering with pilot studies. It's exactly the same as an aerospace degree, but we got to do our pilot's license at the same time. So specifically to my role now, I am a staff officer. We're replacing all of the now obsolete equipment with smaller, more compact, more advanced communication equipment. And these are all going out, being deployed on exercises uh, currently. RAF High Wycombe is quite different to most stations because this is where all the decisions in the Air Force are made. There you're experiencing a lot of the big decision makers, so you can see how they work, what they do, what their kind of goals are and how they achieve them. Common misconceptions that I initially had about, well, the military as a whole, were that everything's going to be very regimented, you're going to be told where you're going, what you're going to be doing, you've got to cut your hair short. But then as soon as I joined up, all of these myths start to dissipate very quickly. The lack of flexibility as well is one of those things that I was, I was quite worried about initially. Like I'd miss Christmas, I'd miss birthday. In reality, it's, it's so easy. If I, if I ever want to go somewhere for something, I just speak to my boss and then put my dates in my calendar. He hasn't not approved one yet. There's all these traditions, like um, you can either applaud or you can knock on the table. So it comes from back in the day, Lord Nelson when he lost his arm. He wanted to make him feel better rather than applaud and then tap on the table. The Air Force is, is rich with tradition. One of my favorite things uh, is all the events on throughout the year. You'll have a summer ball, you'll have your Christmas draw, which is like another big ball, but it's all centered around a big raffle that's done. And this year we've had uh, a flight in a Spitfire given out. It's definitely that identity that it gives you. It's, it's also, a, you feel like you're a part of history. It's amazing and I really, really love it. For me, work-life balance here is absolutely incredible. Compared to other jobs I've had in the past, it's almost like being back at university. Because there are so many young people in their 20s living together, there's a bar on site. Most of the time, I'll finish work, I'll go train, I'll go for dinner, and then I'll go sit in the bar with, with a lot of my friends. I have a dog as well, so there's a, there's a little community that we've started here, which are for all the dog owners. We go walk our dogs together, we let them play. There's so many different clubs and organizations and things to do. You can even start flying, you can join the rugby teams, golf teams, all things like that. The things I know now compared to what I didn't know before when it comes to starting the RAF, well, there's, there's actually an awful lot. When it comes to a flexibility, I, I can talk to my career manager, I can explain to them where I want to push my career. One of the big fields opening up now is, is in cyber. There are plenty of roles available in there. And if I wanted to, I can speak to my boss and say, look, this is, this is the way I want to push my career. And they generally would really help you do that. Because if you're happy, you're going to be motivated, you're going to stay around longer, and you're going to have a motivated, happy workforce. So generally, everyone works for each other, everyone wants everyone to, to be happy and to perform the best they can. When I was interested, I, I was scouring online forums, I was, I was going through all of this, trying to find bits of information. I wish I just went straight to the, the careers office. The people in there know better than most people on the internet. People aren't really very well informed there. They might have had a little crack at it, or they might have had a bit of experience with a friend or something that went through. But I, I wish I went straight to the, the careers office. That was, that was the best thing I did. They got me booked straight onto station visit. The big one I went to was Coningsby, and I saw all the, the typhoons. I got to speak to the engineers there. They told me about the job. It took me from from being completely in the dark about what this job was going to be and whether or not I wanted it to being so well informed and having a good picture of what I was getting into. So I wish I did that. Before.